Hey, what is up, you guys? It's me, the Red Ogre, here again with another Wi-Fi battle for you guys. I know, so so soon from the last battle. Um, I was I was keeping this one saved up so that I could like publish it in another day or two. But then I was like, oh no, I can't I can't wait any longer. This one's so good. It's against a dude named Necro Stevo. Really cool. Go check him out. Both of us brought some pretty solid teams. He's brought Aegislash and uh, Trevenant, Rotom Heat, Azumarill, Mamoswine, and that beautiful L'Oreal Mega Ampharos. I brought Greninja, Halucha, Galvantula, Rotom Wash. Barbarical's a little strange, but you probably noticed that little uh, that little odd man out that uh, Kecleon. But don't you underestimate him. Kecleon is a beast in this battle. So I'm going to lead off with my Greninja. He leads off with his Mamoswine. The lead Mamoswine is always sashed. Always got that 100% chance of Stealth Rocks. So I'm going to hit him with his Grass Knot and go down to the sash. And the Stealth Rock is always going to get set up. So... Now I'm going to switch out, not wanting to take an Ice Shard, you know, and I'm going to send in my Rotom to obviously take it, which he goes for. So I'm going to eat that up pretty nicely, and I didn't want to overpredict, so instead of going for the trick, I go for the Hydro Pump, and he sends in his Trevenant. So I'm angry that I didn't get to trick this thing, so I splash water on the tree, and the, that, that does nothing. Have you ever tried doing that in real life? Just go, just, just go walk up to a tree and throw a water balloon at it. Tell me, tell me what happens. It's nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna send in my Halucha because birds beat trees apparently, and he's going to will with me predicting the switch, which sucks because a burned Halucha is the worst kind of Halucha, even worse than a modest Halucha. So at least you people with modest Haluchas are like, well, at least it's not a burned Halucha. So he's gonna switch out and he's going to send in his Rotom, and I go for the Encore. Maybe he thought I was gonna do something like I switch, or maybe he's gonna go for the Leech. I don't know. I'm going to high jump kick the Rotom H because I'm not going to keep the burned Halucha and then he's going to Thunderbolt me and the Halucha is down. I don't really mind. I send in my Rotom Wash, which I forgot to re-nickname into Evil Laundry, so he's still Hank Hill the Washing Machine. Um, I was predicting the Trevenant switch back in here, so I went for the trick and the trick hits the Mamoswine. And that kind of sucks because now he's going to be able to get off an Ice Shard and as you can see, it is an Ice Shard crit. But I don't really mind. Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump is going to take down that Memo Swine. Definitely. So down goes the uh, down goes the Mammoth with no long trunk. So here comes the beautiful L'Oreal Ampharos. And I haven't fought one of these before. So I was a little worried. I go for the will -Wisp just to get a little bit of residual damage. Just to burn off that Hera It's. Hera Hers, I guess, because it's a female. But he sets up the agility, so I'm a little worried, but then I'm like, oh, no, wait, I have an amazing special wall on my team, Kecleon! Um, if you if you, if you you get that Kecleon name, you're pretty awesome. So it goes for the Dragon, Bo Dragon Pulse. I eat that Dragon Pulse up. Look at that. Kecleon eats Dragon Pulses. I bred Fake Out on my Kecleon, and the Fake Out is going to do some le legitimately nice damage. Um... And he's going to withdraw, and he's going to send in his Rotom Heat here. And I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. Go for the Ghost type, because Protean Kecleon, how could I resist? Um, now I'm going to switch out here, not wanting to be will o -Wisp, And I'm going to send in my Rotom Wash again. And as you can see, that's exactly what he goes for. The will o -Wisp hits my Rotom Wash. So I'm really glad that Kecleon didn't get burned, because that would have screwed me over big time. He's going to withdraw here, and he's going to send in his Trevenant again, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to Hydro Pump. Uh, I didn't know what he was going to do, so I just went for the safe Hydro Pump, you know? I mean, as safe as Hydro Pump can be with its crappy accuracy. So, now, I'm not going to survive until the next turn, so I just decide, hey, why not trick? I mean, I, if I trick, I get rid of its leftovers, and obviously that thing's probably like a, you know, it's not a harvest set because it carries leftovers. So, he actually goes for the Phantom Force, which is something that I don't really see very often. And I didn't want to really send in Kecleon because I didn't want to get will o -Wisp. So I sent in my Greninja here because Greninja is not a physical attacker, at least few of them are. So I go for the Dark Pulse knowing it's not going to do anything, but I just turn into a Dark type so that I can resist the incoming Phantom Force. So he sends in his Azumarill and I go for the Ice Beam. And uh, obviously, Ice Beam isn't going to do next to nothing to an Azumarill. Um, but trust me, that, that is going to be amazing compared to the damage that this Azumarill takes later. Grass Knot almost takes it down, doesn't quite. Play Rough takes down the Greninja. 
So I'm going to send in my electric type. I mean, electric type on his, on the Zoomeril. What are you gonna expect? He switches out. He sends in his Rotom Heat, and I bam set up my sticky web. As much as that'll help me, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll help me. I switch out on the fire type. Obviously, I send in my Barbarical, but of course he predicts the switch. Of course, and he goes for the Willows. So he burns my Barbarical, and that kind of sucks because Barbarical is nothing but a physical attacker. And he switches out, and he sends in his Age Slash. But I like this. I like this because I bred Switcheroo onto my Barbarical, so I trick that thing a Choice Band. That's right, this is not a uh, Shell Smash set, this is a Choice Band set, which actually works rather nice in my opinion. So just, just keep that in mind. I switch out here and I send in my Galvantula again, because I'm not going to be able to survive a move that this guy goes for, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna see what he goes for, and he goes for the Sacred Sword. So Bug Zapper's down, I don't really mind. I send in my Kecleon again. And and I'm pretty sure you guys know what's coming here. Uh, Shadow Sneak is going to turn me into a ghost type. Shadow Sneak's gonna do some pretty nice damage, and he's going to go for the Sacred Sword. And because I didn't want to overpredict, I go for the no another uh, Shadow Sneak. So that's not going to do much to the Rotom Heat. And this turn, the Rotom Heat goes for the rest, and I don't really see many rest Chesto Resto, Chesto, whatever people like to call it. Uh, I don't really see that many on Rotom, so I was pretty surprised about that. But I go for the Rock Slide, and the Rock Slide is going to crit. Look at that. Almost takes down the Rotom Heat. Shadow Sneak is going to finish him off. Rotom Heat look down to Kecleon. Kecleon doing some work. That Rotom Heat is finally down. That thing has caused me some big trouble, burning so many things, and now it's finally gone. And now I know I'm going to be able to survive something from this guy. So Thunderbolt is not going to take down my Kecleon because this is an Assault Vest set. So I go for the Power Up Punch or the Power Up Tongue, apparently the Kecleon's, uh, Kecleon's animation there. And I'm sitting at a pretty plus one and I go for the Shadow Sneak. And the Shadow Sneak is going to take down the Ampharos and that is great. And um, now he's going to send in his Trevenant here, hoping that he could like survive a Shadow Sneak or something. You know, maybe Willow me, but no one can escape the Kecleon. Shadow Sneak gonna take down that Trevenant. So now Kecleon is doing so much work. Take now three Pokemon now, and here, here's where the hilarity begins. Because now he is choiced into King's Shield, and I go for the obvious Shadow Sneak. I get the minus one, and then he hits the second King's Shield. So now I'm minus three. And now he goes for the King Shield. Obviously, that one's going to fail. So my Shadow Sneak is going to hit this time. And it's not going to finish him off. So he's going to go for the King Shield. And I predict that. So I go for the Power Up Punch. Just so that I don't, like, just so that I don't hit him. But then he gets the Double King Shield again. This was a 50-50 chance twice in a row that hit, that went in his favor. So I'm at minus five now. But then he gets the Triple King Shield. What? What? Triple King Shield. Now I'm at literally, I'm at minus six. Minus six Kecleon. Hits the Shadow Sneak, takes him down because it was a critical hit. But now I'm not going to be able to do anything at all to what he sends in next. Azumarill, watch this. Just, just, just watch this. Shadow Sneak, one pixel. That's, that was nothing. And Aqua Jet is going to take me down. So, final Pokemon pitted against final Pokemon. Let's see what happens. He goes for the Aqua Jet, which is going to do some nice damage, but it's not going to kill. So I go for the Night Slash, and the Night Slash is going to take him down. That was a really good game, really close, really fun. It was insanity the whole way through. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm hoping to bring you guys more battles in the in the future. And if you if you want to subscribe, like, comment, uh tell me your favorite pokemon i don't care just do what you want man and uh i'm i'm hoping to see you guys around next time